welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome I do makeup tutorials makeup hauls story time so if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be part of the fam bam so in today's video I'm going to be playing with some new drugstore makeup that I recently hauled and I'm freaking excited after looking at everything I put it in front of me I was like this is gonna be a good one this is going to be a good one so I'm gonna start off with the eyebrows going in with the NYX fill and fluff and this is the shade brunette I'm going to comb through my brows so cute no brush for my little hairs and I'm going to oh I went down too much I'm going to lightly fill I always feel like I don't know how to use these ones because of the tip. It's like, like this, you know? Oh gosh, I suck at using these tips. But let's work it together and I'm just going to blend in that pomade. Okay, I can see it's making it softer. Like it's not looking as harsh. And I think I picked a good brow color too. I'm just going to do that there. Oh, you just, I don't think I'm gonna like this sort of paddle thing. I'm just used to like a small tip and I just have been so used to that. I think that's what's giving me a hard time. I feel like it would be better if it's just, cause I, I keep like, I feel like I keep messing up. <sighs> I don't know, I just wish I had a different tip because I think where I'm like having a hard time where I'm like overdrawing, I don't know if, I don't know. I hope y'all know what I mean. Cause like this tip versus, let me see. Like a LA Girl shading, see the tip? I like those tips. I like the really tiny tip cause I feel like it's easier for me. And these thick tips, I feel like it goes good maybe at the start cause it's like sharp. And then where it starts getting like rounded, like a big rounded, I, it's hard for me. I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I'm not pro at that, you know, but I will continue to use it to improve on it because practice makes things better. I do like the eyebrow shade though. I do, I feel like I did good on the eyebrow shade. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Set and Boost. I'm just going to just comb this in my brows just so that my brows are set and they don't go anywhere. See, I feel like this eyebrow looks a lot better than this one. I feel like this one, it was just like, first time go you know and then this one I was like all right all right all right maybe I got it so I don't know first impressions eyebrow brush not I'm like not too impressed with it you know all right so now for eyes we will be using the hard candy smoked out so I'm gonna go in and prep my eyes let's go in with this shade right here and I'm just going to pat this color down first and then lightly blend. It's so cool that a lot of you were really excited about this palette. I was really, I was actually really shocked because I didn't think anyone really would really be like wowed about this palette. But seeing the response, I was like, hell yeah. Like, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, excuse my nose. I don't know what the heck is up with me, you guys. I have this bad mania where it's like this bad habit where if I'm up late, and I'm kind of like having my insomnia. I don't know what the hell to do. Like I'll pick up my eyebrows, I'll try and plug, I'll even tint my eyebrows, like I'll mess around with them and stuff. But um, I went in with the, the tools to extract pimples and blackheads and I went ham. My poor Nariz, like the next day, it was hurting. I was like, what the? Like I was like tripping out like, oh my gosh. Cause like I'm a worry word, okay? So I was like, oh my God, like what's going on with my nose? I was like asking the kids like, do your nose hurt? Does your nose hurt? Does your nose hurt? And then finally, I don't know what the hell it was. It just clicked and I'm like, oh, being chim inside. It's from you picking at your nose. I was, I swear, I was like, something's in the air. My nose hurts. Like, oh my gosh, but it was me, stupid head. I was just like, oh, I didn't know what the hell. I didn't know what the hell to like, Put blame on and it was just my fault you know 
So I'm gonna go in with this shade and I'm just going to apply it all over. But yeah, I was like legit scared. I was like, what the heck is going on? You never know, you know? And then how people are like, oh my God, it's in the air. There's something like people are getting sick and stuff. So I'm like, oh my God, my nose, like what's going on? Like my nose, my nose. I need to chill, I swear. I drive myself crazy. Like I really need to chill. If you wanna freak yourself out, talk to me and I'll freak you out. I'll be like, oh my gosh, it could be this, it could be that. Or I'll start thinking that whatever you're feeling, like I'm feeling too. I'm like, oh, you know what? I freaking hate that, dude. I don't know what's wrong with me. Go back in with that shade. But I get so like paranoid, like hecka paranoid. My freaking anxiety kills me, I swear. So I'm gonna go back in. I'm just going to deepen that up. But yeah, moral of the story, my nose hurts. So if you see it a little bit red and stuff, that's my fault. I hecka picked at it. Especially because I was watching um, Pimple Doctor. And I was like, oh, I have that tool. Oh, I have that tool. Oh, that's how you use that one? And then I started extracting my pimples and I got a good a good amount but then I went overboard you know where I was like oh I'm just gonna just gonna go over it one more time just to make sure and yeah my nose is sore like it legit gotta work out because of how much I was picking at my freaking nose I was just <sighs> I need to quit too because my nose it scars so freaking ugly like ugly it does there's no forgiveness when it comes to my nose. Like if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know when I pick out my nose because this scar will pop up. See, I picked at it again. It'll pop up and I freaking hate that. I don't know why I do that. Like I do it all the freaking time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I swear, I'm just like, why? Why couldn't you just go to bed, Jade? Why couldn't you just go to bed? So going in with this brown, it's kind of like my skin tone, almost. And I'm just going to apply it right there. So we don't, we don't have like an odd gap. Don't watch Dr. Pimple Popple, Pimple Popper at night. I swear it does not go well. Oh, it's just hecka going at it. And then I was like debating or whether or not to like shave my mustache. Cause I was like, should I wait? Should I do it right now? But I think I'll show you guys how I shave my whole face. Because I only shave my whole face maybe twice a month, but maybe like realistically just once. I was like, okay, I'll hold off on that. Good thing I didn't keep going at it because I, I feel like it would have just not ended well at all. So there's really not a lot of mattes in this palette. I, we only have four mattes. I wish this would come out a little bit deeper than what it is. I'm trying to pack on that shade, especially like right here. In my crease. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Cut our crease. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Shack T37. All right. I'm hoping I can save this look. Because I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. I'm not like 100% in love with it. Do you know what I mean? I'm like a little bit in love with it, but not all the way where I want to be. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Okay, I'm going to add that right there. I'm gonna go in with a different brush. Not liking the way how that one's applying it. There you go, ooh, that looks pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with this green and I'm gonna add it just to the edge. I applied too much of that white right there. So just right there. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I wanna see if maybe this green right here, this kind of shimmer, will pop more at the edge end. Cause that green is nice, but I just wish it was just like a tad bit more pigmented, just to give it more of like a, uh, you know? So I'm gonna go back in with the shade right here with the same brush. And um, we're just going to add that just Right here at the edge. I kind of wish this would pop more. I'm gonna see if I wet it, if it will pop just a bit more. Since I already have that laid down, I can go back in with this brush 
and I can just kind of just like lay the color on top and I'm hoping as I sp spray it it's gonna become more pigmented because with some shadows if you do do that it does add. okay yeah it's doing it okay I feel like I just had to, had to like Huck a dig in there though for it to really just how I wanted it, you know? So we did that really intense <laughs> eyeliner. Now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shade right here. I'm going to apply that right underneath, just like that. Okay, I'm just gonna curl my lashes before I apply my lashes. Ooh, that would have been a big mistake. Going in with my LA Girl volum Volumatic Full On Volumizing Mascara. So I lowered the lighting so you guys can see. So we're not all the way done with our eyes, but so far it's like, okay. All right, all right, all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so let's go in with our face. I am going to prep my face with an LA Girl Primer Spray. I'm just going to lightly blend that in. I just like to go over and make sure that it's all on my face. All right, so now we're gonna go in with two new items. This is a uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid, medium to full coverage. Then we got the Concealer Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid, medium to full, full coverage. I'll link the other, the Makeup Revolution Foundation. I'll link that one down below because I did do a review on that one. I fell in love with the doe Up. Oh, this one doesn't have a doe applicator? What? I thought it was gonna have a doe applicator. I like the doe applicator. All right, so this one's different. It comes with a pump instead, which is, that's fine. I was just expecting something else, you know? Ooh, that's liquidy. So I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl foundation brush and apply a little bit on. Ooh, that is like perfect match, I think. I think. I'm gonna say that. Oh, this is kind of pink. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but this looks sort of a lot of pink. What the fuck? I don't remember it looking pink. Let me, I have my other one. So I thought it was going to be like the same thing because I did get F12. So this is the conceal and define, you know, see how big that is? Yeah, you see? So this one isn't pink. Damn, that is pink! Watch, let me show you guys. Okay, so... Do you guys see that? Compared to the other one? Alright, so... That is pink. It's a no for me. Alright, now... And I'm going to go back and pick up a different shade. And I swatched it too. I was like, I think that's gonna be it because it's I'm I've 12 in the other one, but apparently not. So yeah, no. Okay, so going in with LA Girl primer spray. Why don't y'all tell me that my eyelash is coming off? Huh? Don't be that shady cousin that tells you, oh no, you look good, and you don't. So I'm gonna use a Makeup Revolution Conceal Define in F12, the one that I have originally, originally played with. Cause I know this one's good. And then I'll have to go back and get a different one for the other one. I wonder how that works. You think that they would keep them like the same number because it's easy that way, you know? So now going in with the Makeup Shack T40. And um, I don't know why I made that face. I'm just gonna blend this in. And we can't forget this forehead. I know there's some people who don't do their forehead, don't put foundation on their forehead. 
And for me, I can't play that game because, uh-uh, I don't my I don't have like an even skin texture, so I'll get for sure. Like, did you miss a spot? You know what I mean? Mm mm. I can't do that unless I had bangs, and then I could see. But the bangs that I have are growing out, so I can't even hide my forehead underneath that. So I have to cover her up. So, ooh, you see? Just good coverage too, just <whistles> Nice! Oh my gosh, I got two new little cuts right there. My baby be messing me up, I swear. So we are going to try the concealer because I think I, I'm gonna be okay on the concealer. I did pick up the shade C9.5. Oh, I love the Dofa applicator. I love how big they are. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect, okay. Got a whole like shebang going on, huh? And then I will be going in with the Physician Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer, and this is in the shade Mocha. I think I said matcha in the haul. Been the camera. And this was pigmented. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, and then we're going to blend. That concealer looks freaking nice. Okay. Damn, girl. What's up? Mm -mm. Okay. I always get hype, man. Yeah, I'm getting really tired of y'all not telling me about my freaking lash. I was like, why does this eye look weird? <laughs> And I do want to go in with the Physician Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir. And I did grab the shade Gorgeous Peach. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to the back of my hand. I see. And I'm just going to go in with a stippling brush. This one is LA Girl 104. And smile. Go with the Beauty Blender. Maybe that's better. Ooh, that makes you look like a, it has like a healthy glow. Ooh, hopefully it doesn't get covered by the powder. We're gonna go in with the Physician Formula 3-in-1 Mineral Wear. Okay, so I do want to use the baking one, which is this one. Yes, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, to be honest. I'm just gonna... Oh. I like the idea, but I don't think they got this one through. All the way. All right. Okay, hold on. <coughs> All right, so there it is. And I'm going to bake. So I'm gonna mix the fixer with the powder, with the bake, I mean. So I'm just gonna pull back and, I don't know, maybe I'm dumb and I don't know how to use this. Maybe I'm like someone who needs like instructions. <coughs> okay, I'm just gonna mix it up, little concoction, and then I'm just going to apply it to my bottom jawline. I'm gonna lightly go over my cheeks because I can see that it wants to go down. Ah, oh, you guys, I really wanted to like this, but I feel like it's just too, too complicated and it, it usually is when things are like that like a three in one it's too much shouldn't should have known should have known lightly brush on powder where face to set break okay so even if i wanted to dip for the brush you still have to like go like that you know what i mean and it it's just like i said too much too much it's too much all right so I feel like the bake has been baking long enough. I'm just gonna go and just remove it. So it did set my face, but to be honest, I'm not wowed. I'm not like, oh my gosh. Yeah, like I'm not super duper wowed, to be honest. Not saying that it's bad, but I'm not like, for the hassle that it took to, to get the powder out, it's to me, it's not worth it. All right, so now going on for blush, I'm gonna go in with Sweet Cheeks. I know we did apply the elixir, but I feel like 
it's more if I when I want I should probably use that when I'm using a foundation that I'm not going to set just because I really liked how it sat on my cheeks and it looked really really nice so now going in with <laughs> NYX sweet cheeks glow just like a little bit you know Okay, so the only thing I don't have drugstore is a green eyeliner. So I am going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Dry Liner. This one is Overdrive. And I'm going to apply that to the bottom lash line. I didn't want to use the LA Girl again because I feel like I've been using those a lot. So I'm going to go in with the shade right here. And I'm just going to apply that underneath. Now going in with the screen right here. Then I'm gonna go in with this gold. Okay, so before we go any farther, I am going to go in with my Morphe Prep and Set and I'm just going to spray my face. My under eyes felt a little bit dry as well. So I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild brush. And I'm just going to spray it too. And I'm just going to dab all over my face. Just so that everything sets. Like all the powders that we had on our face. Just so that everything meshes really, really well together. Okay, so now going in with my Airspun Loose Face Highlighter. This one is in the shade Glow for Gold. I said in my haul glow for good I'm telling you i hope you guys caught that little like gold member clip that i put in so you guys were like oh okay that's what she meant so i'm just picking up a little bit on my brush and then i'm gonna go in with the cap kind of like swirl it around don't just like directly dip in and boom because that's gonna be like really pigmented so i like to go in to the cap and then lightly dang that is pretty. And then where we just sprayed our face with the setting spray, it has like a really nice tacky base right now to sit on. And then you can just go over it with your beauty blender so it's not as harsh. Damn, this highlighter is gonna last a long time because a little bit is going a long way. My guts. <sighs> A lot now for lips I will be going in with flower cosmetics this one is petal pout lip liner in toffee dang that was good now going in with flower beauty this is a cinnamon crush matte lipstick the petal pout lip <gasps> you know what I didn't use the freaking hard candy watermelon drops I gotta do that tomorrow oh let's go in with one other oh Yep, it's going with one of their, this is the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Lip, and this one is in Almost Nude. I'm going to go in with the Vivid Hot Lacquer from Maybelline. I don't know, should I go a dark lip? So we have this one. And then I'm going to go with a dark lip. Let's see. Cause I don't know what to rock with this one. Like honestly, I'm like, I don't, I don't know why it's not like, ooh, for me. Okay, so the other one, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop BFF. Then I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. And this one is in Paradise Lost. Then I'm gonna go in with this one. This one is Cakewalk. So I don't know which one looks better. I hate when that happens when you apply eyeshadow and you don't know what lippy will go with it i think i like this combo better than the other combo Alrighty, you guys so this is the end of the first impressions makeup tutorial get ready with me shabang i don't know what really to call it so let's go through everything and i would do a check-in but we don't have foundation to check in with so i think i'm just going to update the description on how the concealer lasted honestly i think the concealer went on pretty freaking good like wow i can't wait to see how well it mixes with the other one so i really cannot believe that this went on so pink like 
can't believe. So for the eyebrows, I did like the eyebrow product, but the the tip just wasn't doing it for me. I really like a really like micro, not it doesn't even have to be micro, just like just a lot a little bit more smaller, you know. So I wonder if the I wanted to do a comparison with the Fenty. I hope the Fenty. I think the Fenty has like a micro head. I don't think it is. So brush, yeah, very similar. See this? I know I'm going to like because it's a micro pencil. I'll still do. I'll still do a comparison, but I don't think they're the same going off like looks. If anything, they have like the same like brush. But I feel like this, where it goes into like a thicker, thicker eyebrow pencil, it's a lot harder for me. I feel like I, it's more easy for me to make mistakes, more mistakes. You know what I mean? Like I was going like under, and I, I just didn't like how it went on, but I will play with it some more and maybe I'll fall in love with it. So foundation, I have to go and get a different foundation. So bear with me on that one. The concealer, I really liked how it went on. It blended like a dream. It was very, very, very creamy and very full coverage as well. I know it says medium to full coverage, but I feel like it was just full coverage. It was amazing. Bronzer, I really like the bronzer. I like how it was really easy to even blend. So I like that. The Physician Formula Dewy Blush Elixir. I feel like I will be using this when I'm wearing a foundation, like again, that I mentioned that I won't set. Something that's just gonna sit on my face and looks really nice and it looks very, very pretty. So I can't wait to play with this again. I think I'll do a video when I just do like a fresh, fresh, fresh face of makeup. I think that's gonna be a good one. Oh, that's gonna be a good one to show you guys like how I would use that. Now the next Sweet Cheeks I feel like is very pretty. Gave me a really nice like flush look. So I like that one, not disappointed in that one. Airspun highlighter, amazing. I feel like this is going to last you a very, very, long time so i'm glad i picked that up okay so as for the physician formula three in one mineral wear i feel like this was more hassle than anything i honestly think that this is something that you could skip on now if you do have this and you love it that makes me really happy because it didn't work for me it having three separate ones and opening that one and then tap tap tap, tap it's just it just it's just too much. Maybe if they had something where you could just like pinch and you would just open this way and then you could like shake it, but where you have to open this and pull it back, it's just more of a hassle. So I would say just, yeah, I, this is just a skip for me. It's just it's too much, too much going on. Now for the eyeshadow palette, I feel like this is kind of like in the middle. I like the look that I created today. At first, I was like, oh my gosh, I just want to take it off because I wasn't liking how it was building up with the color or anything. But I feel like this is something that I could play around with again. And then I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I do like the colors. Very pretty. I just wish the mattes were a little bit more pigmented, more of a punch. I feel like it took a lot of work for me to fill up the shade. I mean, like you see, like it looks really pretty here but as you swatch it it's not as pigmented like as pigmented i was think that i would think like of a green and as for the lime green as well i feel like that took a while to kind of like build up but it you can build it up so don't get me wrong don't get don't don't be like oh i don't want to get it then like play around with it you will you'll like it it just takes some building to get the color payoff that you want and that goes for this shade as well this one right here, it's very pretty all over the lid. I just wish it went on exactly like that, like whoop. with the brush, it was just like, had to like really take my time with it as well. So the palette for me right now is 50-50. 50-50 because I feel like it was just, it was hard to play with it, you know, like building up the color. And then the other 50, I'm just like, oh, I like it because of the whole, like you don't really see a whole green eyeshadow palette at the drugstore, you don't. So I'm really impressed with that. But I will be playing around with it some more so I can get like the full everything. I do wish there was more mattes in here. I feel like there wasn't enough mattes and I feel like they should have maybe added another deep kind of like right there, like that kind of green. I, I swatched the glitter, the glitter eyeshadow and I want to see what I can create with that. It seems like something that would be really easy to play around with something that you can't mess up because it, it's just really like really nice and it was actually very impressing when i was playing with it because i was like oh like i didn't expect it for it to be like that yeah i definitely be playing with it some more if you don't like to build up color and you don't want to sit there and like take your time with building and stuff then i would say pass on the palette 
but if you have time and if and you're obsessed with greens then i definitely say pick it up i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys would like to see more tutorials like this please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already to keep up with my videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye